everybody, welcome back. This week's episode of Mint Out of the Box. I'm your host, Godfather Toys, the J Bomb. Still getting over <clears throat> some throat issues, so I sound a little. I got that uh, sexy Barry White voice going on right now. Do you? And when you hear questioning when there shouldn't be questions, it can only be the lovely one, my co host, my life, my wife, producer Steph. Speaking of under the weather, if I had a dollar for every time you uh, sneeze, we would be uh, doing Mint Out of the Box on one of the networks tonight. Yes, yes we would. I think I match your sexy Barry White voice. It's not sexy. So besides our... First of all, do we even want to get into the incident at Target this week? I wouldn't call it an incident. I would. Here we are. Lovingly walking down the aisle, holding hands, talking about how good of a day we're having, doing, yes, good of a day. They're rare, but they do happen. Walking down the aisle, and then all of a sudden, you hear a, huh, and I go flying. Where did I go flying? Out of his way. Why? Tell him why. There were some new McFarlands on the shelf including a chase of Sinestro. So, <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> it's contagious. Good, that's your payback. Thank you. We just bought primetime, I forgot the dollar. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be opening tonight, the Superpowers Batmobile. One of my very, very first episodes, I did a kind of a, um, clean up on my Batcopter from the original Superpowers line, and I think my Batmobile from the original Superpowers line made an appearance in the Evil Knievel episode, so, and I'm, I might have actually brought it over here at some point, I don't know, I've done so many shows now, but before I get to that, McFarlane Toys at it again, they have done a first wave of Batman the animated series, kind of a, a beefier version little brief history, 1992, Batman Returns came out, they did the Dark Knight line to uh, kind of get more stuff involved with the Batman line, then as that line died out, the next year Batman Animated Series came out, and Kenner started a whole line to go along with the Batman Animated Series, made figures that look just like this, these are a little bit bigger. Uh, they made a lot of characters and then the animated line turned into the super Superman had a version and there's characters and there's figures from that So that was basically what carried the Batman Superman franchise license through pretty much most of the 90s and now McFarlane is like with superpowers is uh, Recreating them. I was gonna open up Scarecrow today, <clears throat> but because I'm stupid I grabbed two chases instead of and I actually grabbed a chase and a regular, trying to be a nice guy. I put one back thinking I had a regular at home, but I had another chase. And I don't want to open up the chase in case there's someone out there that needs a chase. I'd rather them have it than me open it up because it's Scarecrow. I'll probably find another one because I found just the Scarecrow sitting there as it was. So as you see... You know, like I said, they're pretty much just like the original line. If you buy them all and you build some character called the Condiment King. I know nothing about the Condiment King. Maybe he likes ketchup. Well, he has ketchup and mustard, looks like. Ooh. So, <clears throat> I watched the first couple seasons of uh, Batman Animated Series, and then I went off and had to become an adult, sort of. <clears throat> I just wasn't around at 5 o'clock anymore. I used to videotape them. It's a videotape, and that's how old that show was. Um, I bought a lot of the figures from the first line. I still got a lot of them over here. Um, oh, I don't think they made a bat cave from that one. Because I got a bunch of bat caves. Over if there. you have to look that hard, no, they didn't, because you would have it. And I don't. I can't see. No, I don't have... I had the animated Batmobile, but I probably sold off. I sold a couple of my other Batmobiles. 
But we'll never have that problem again because I won't get rid of anything ever again. So tell me about it. Producer staff found these right before. Where'd we go? We bought these right before we went somewhere or did something. Before we went to Utah. I want to say it's before that. Surgery? No. I don't know. She found it one night and the invisible jet. It's right here. Just kidding. Where are you looking at? <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> How long has the invisible jet been on the side of our bed? I was like, wow, you actually brought it out here. Ah! Batman almost died. <laughs> pretty much sums up how our day's gone our life is a mess right now and it would have broke because everything in our life is broke right now our house our plumbing our pool our solar our bodies the only thing that, that hasn't been broke yet is our spirit bane bane hasn't broken our spirit um as i pull it out it just has these two plastic stoppers I actually cleaned up my desk. It's a small miracle. All it comes is with these fins, you look like they just pop right in. Easier said than done. Well, McFarland and popping things in have never really been an easy feat, can we be honest? And it says that it has hidden rocket boosters. I see rocket boosters back here. I don't know how to activate them. But it has a batting ram. Ooh. And. Yeah. Just pop this up, bam. Rocket boosters. And luckily, since I never put anything away, I have the Batman that goes along with the new McFarland series. And the filmation cartoon is cape laid across the back like that. You can there's never been a toy line you can do that with. And away we go. That's a little too small. He looks a little too small in it. Yeah. But it is pretty cool. Um, I, I've said it a thousand times, you're going to be hard pressed to recreate a Batmobile that is as cool as that Super Powers one because it was modeled after the 80s Batmobile from the cartoon from the Super Friends. And with the little, with the pop-up headlights, and all the little gimmicks on it and just the overall design that's always probably going to be my favorite batmobile this one looks like a cross between that and something from the batman brave and the bold with a little gimmick on the front but overall it's a uh, it's pretty pretty nice um these just now recently i mean in the last couple weeks i finally started seeing these in stores i have not seen the figures that go along with this in stores, I've only seen them at GameStop. I ordered my Batman and my Robin from Amazon, got them pretty quick. Oh no, I got my Robin from Amazon. I got my Batman, I got my Batman from uh, the McFarland store because Amazon was sold out. That's right. But I think it's on there now. And then Aquaman, uh, Wonder Woman with a different color cape. And whoever else they made. Um, I see them regularly at GameStop. I don't know if I bought them yet. I don't think I bought them yet. Because they're just sitting there. I was waiting for them to go on sale somewhere. So I'll probably wait till they go on sale. But, but like I said, it's got the classic yellow and black bat shield on it. Which makes me wonder why they did this in the front. You would have thought they would have put this logo right here. But, like I said, 
it looks like a little a cross between like the the Brave and the Bold series and the Kenner Batmobile. Why you look so perplexed? I accidentally just saw a reel about blending taco meat and it looked real gross. <laughs> Research. We will not be blending our taco meat, sir. You While find, you play with your toys. You can find these in the stores. These are hidden. Have a great week. Don't get thrown across the aisle. Taco meat. I'll talk to you guys next week.